So I cleaned a bunch of workwear, gloves and tool bags and stuff, and something in the wash blew up and put a bunch of lint into my Velcro. This is one that I've cleaned. This is what I'm going to clean right now. All I'm using is just a regular black comb. This one is worn out. And a lint brush. Now in order to understand why our Velcro is collecting stuff and how best to clean it, I've come up with this really complex illustration. There's two sides to Velcro, a hook side and a loop side. Now these are microscopic hooks and loops. You can't really see them with your bare eye. But the loop side tends not to collect a lot of stuff in the laundry and everyday use as it's a loop. On the other hand, the hook side tends to collect a lot of stuff, lint and other things throughout its everyday use. It goes without saying that once this happens, you lose a lot of the effectiveness of your Velcro and that can be really annoying. Now the good news is it's relatively easy and simple to renew this Velcro and get it back to its original effective and efficient state. The best method I've found is to use a cheap small bristle black comb and then work with intent across your piece of Velcro using short forward and upward movements because you want to bring that lint up to the top. Once you have gathered some lint in the bristles, go ahead and lint brush off the piece of Velcro and clear your bristles. I'll keep using this technique and I'll work through the Velcro several times until I have a majority of the problem removed. And then I can come back through and focus on individual pieces of lint and thread that were missed and may need a little bit more attention. And be sure to keep going over it with that lint brush because there are very fine pieces of fabric and fuzz that will also work to the surface that may not get caught in the comb. The lint brush is very important. Once you've made several passes over your piece of Velcro with your lint roller, you will be astounded at how much stuff has gathered and collected on the lint roller, especially if it is a light colored roller. I used no less than eight sheets when I did these particular tool bags and gloves. This is the quickest and easiest and most non-damaging method for cleaning Velcro using tools you most likely have in your house that I've been able to find. All right, and there you have it. Velcro is all nice and clean, functional. Bags look good again. Ready to go back to work. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped you solve your dirty Velcro problem. And if you have a different tip or trick or technique, please leave it in the comments below. I'm always looking for a better way. And check out some of the other shop tip and project videos we have here.